CAN STANDS FOR CONTROLLER AREA NETWORK. It's mainly used in industrial control and automotive electronics for reliable communication. Power on the microcontroller. Now the main controller chip and this CAN chip are communicating. Their communication uses the CAN interface. The CAN bus uses CAN high and CAN low two differential signal lines. We use DuPont lines to connect the microcontroller's common ground pin and use two other colored DuPont lines to connect the microcontroller's CAN interface signal pins. We also use DuPont lines to connect the differential signals from this CAN chip to other circuits so that when they communicate, I can capture the signals. The oscilloscope probe's two ground clips are connected to the microcontroller's common ground pin. Both probes are connected to the microcontroller's CAN signal interface. We need to set both oscilloscope probes to the 10x to reduce impedance. We set channel 1 to the 10x attenuation and turn on channel 2 also at 10x attenuation. Now change the trigger mode to normal mode and adjust the trigger level. You can see this is the signal from the microcontroller's CAN interface. We measure the differential signals between two CAN devices. We use different colored wires for the CAN differential lines and use oscilloscope probe clips to connect in the middle, then connect to the other side's CAN receiver. Now we are connected to one of the CAN differential signals. You can see the oscilloscope displaying the differential signal. We increase the level a bit more. You can see when channel 1 is low, channel 2 is high. When channel 1 is high, channel 2 is low. They're symmetrical level patterns. That's the differential signal. And that's how you measure CAN bus signals. Did you get it?